Hey friends, in this video I'm going to be going over my most requested video which I think has two requests um, and that is going to be the spring I used inside the cap of the QEV and it's also going to be the hole inside the diaphragm of the QEV itself uh, to allow for filling from the chamber side instead of from the pilot side. Let's start off with the spring I used it's a conical spring there should be um, as you can hopefully see in this the spring actually sits down inside of this threaded area here um, that's not a big deal I could probably trim it and it would fit in there a little bit better as you can see it's also at an angle once again that doesn't really matter uh, the reason I chose a conical spring is actually so that it would sit down inside of there and kind of steady itself. Um, also they tend generally to be able to uh, seat a little bit flatter um, so that helps because there isn't much room for the for the diaphragm to move back and forth so the flatter this spring can sit when it's compressed the better. Um, so there that is really nothing to it. Um, it. There's not a whole lot of force behind it. It's a pretty soft spring I don't think you need anything too strong in there. It's just to kind of help uh, reseat the valve when you start filling so that air doesn't escape. So we'll move on to the diaphragm itself. Um, here she is. And you can see the little hole in it. In fact, I'll point to it with the, the drill here. Um, a lot of people say to use a really tiny hole, like almost invisible. I tried a couple different sized holes until I enlarged it to this size. This size obviously works for me. Um, you want it fairly close to the edge. Uh, I would say about halfway between the edge and the, like the the base of the uh, diaphragm there. Um, too close to the edge and you have a, a chance of tearing too close to the base and it might not work as well maybe. Um, so yeah, there's the hole. You can, you can see obviously it's a hole that goes all the way through. Um, this is the drill I used for it. This is a number 69 drill um, for those of you who want a met or an imperial measurement it's .0292. Anything around there would probably be fine like a, you know, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, anywhere in there should probably be fine. Um, as I stated in some of my earlier videos, um, I, I've never done this, but I've heard people using pins to push through there and really anything you have. Uh, the thing I'd be worried about, if you're gonna if you're gonna be using a QEV for what I would consider light pressure duty, like if you have a, a PVC gun, a gun made out of plastic, and you're only going to be going to like 100 or 150 PSI tops, I would say you're probably fine using a, a needle or a pin to push the hole through there. If you're going to go with anything more than that, I would suggest using a small drill bit. And the reason for that is with a pin, all a pin does is it more or less rips the diaphragm. It puts a tear in it. Um, when you have a tear in something, it's a lot more likely to continue tearing. Um, so when you have it pumped up to 500 PSI, um, pressure is going to be acting on that tear and there's a good chance it's going to just continue to tear it. Um, you're not removing any material when you push a hole through something. However, when you drill a hole through something, obviously it's removing all that material and it leaves a nice round hole. Now obviously a round hole uh, has equal pressure acting all the way around it. so this has a way less chance of tearing under pressure when there's an actual hole with material taken out so once again just to say that one more time if you plan on using your QEV um, for light pressure duty like up to 100 maybe even 200 PSI you can probably get away with using a pin if you're going to be using it for high pressure like 400 or more PSI I would definitely suggest um, going out and getting a small drill bit if you don't have one and drilling that hole um, to keep it from tearing. 
So yeah, that is going to be that for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do have some really fun stuff on the way. It's supposed to be mid-40s on Tuesday. So hopefully I can get out in the garage and get some work done. I've got a really fun design I'm going to be working on, um, and I hope to have it done on Tuesday. Fingers crossed that I can finish it all. Um, so it's going to be one of my hopefully biggest improvements to my gun that I've made so far. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. Hopefully I'll get that done on Tuesday and get a video uploaded of it. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Take care, guys, and hope you're all having a great time. See ya.